Huxley. Unfortunately, Siren Phoenix was not coded. While you were sleeping, everyone in the city was installed code. It was a brilliant idea by Dr. Cocteau that an organically bioengineered microchip be sewn into the skin. Sensors all over the city can zero in on anyone at any time. I can't even conceive a visual of what you police officers did before it was developed. We work for a living. This fascist crap makes me want to puke. What do you think you're scratching, caveman? You really think we'd let you go without control? Wow. Wow. Seems pretty far-fetched, doesn't it? You want to know how prophetic 1993's Demolition Man with Sylvester Stallone and Wesley Snipes actually was? Well, I'll tell you. Friends, implantable identification chips have been around for a very long time. You've no doubt heard about chips implanted in pets so that a lost animal can be scanned and then safely returned to its owners. Look, today's radio frequency identification chips, RFID is what we we'll call them in this segment, they're about the size of a, a, of a piece of rice. There are other types that are tiny too, little tiny squares. Their basic function is to retain information, basically to allow themselves to be scanned to retrieve that info. And this is the best part, and to track the being that that implant is in. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement? There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, mark my words, before your tenure is over. Now, I know that there's a lot of hardcore Christians out there and a lot of hardcore rapture uh, people out there that are saying, mark of the beast, mark of the beast, that's what this is. Whether it is or not, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about Obamacare. That's right, House Resolution 3962. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. Our constitutional journey did not stop then, and it must not stop now, Judge. And we'll be faced with equally consequential decisions in the 21st century. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement. There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, mark my words, before your tenure is over. Can brain scans be used to determine whether a person is inclined toward criminality or violent behavior? You will rule on that. And Judge, I need to know whether you will be a justice who believes that the constitutional journey must continue to speak to these consequential decisions, or and we've gone far enough in protecting against government intrusion into our autonomy, into the most personal decisions we make. Judge, that's why this is a critical moment. We're going to go right back to Jan Crawford. She's had an opportunity to read more of the opinion. And Jan, what do you see? Scott, we are processing what is in fact this complicated decision, but it appears the Chief Justice has joined with four of the court's liberals to uphold the mandate. Jan, thank you very much. Headline of the hour, this is the most important thing that has happened so far. The Supreme Court has upheld the individual mandate, essentially affirming that President Obama's health care law is indeed constitutional and the Congress did not exceed its authority when it essentially ordered every American to buy health insurance. He had power to give life to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. I'm just going to test this. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's live.
<laughs> so pain management. Um, have you ever heard of Lamaze class? Like for pregnant ladies? So the breathing technique, it's, uh, it's got a very specific purpose. Um, when they're going like that, it's not because of the breathing. What they're trying to do is make the brain focus on a rhythm, right? And timing and keeping that timing. So uh, what they do is they focus on a point anywhere. Just focus your eyes on a point. And you start breathing in a very deliberate fashion of rhythm. So you're like, it's not, it's very, it's in, out, in, out. And so that, that process of focusing on that breathing will alleviate some of the pain. Or the brain's busy, basically, you're overloading the CPU. Um, so you can try to do that, or you can just, uh, you know, grin and bear it. Or, or, um, yeah. So we're going to get rid of the animal shit. Oh, that's okay. They don't free love. That's great. Oh no, that is it. So that's that's the chip with the biobond coating. It's white coating. So that that coating is what uh, the body grows into and uh, locks in place. So we want to get rid of that. Now this has got um, isopropyl alcohol. So that's going to be quite stingy. So basically, we're going to look for a place right in between. So you've got a, a nice uh, squishy area there, which is great. So we're basically just going to pinch up and go in, inject, and then I'm going to pr press and pull out, and then I'm going to give you the gauze and just put pressure. Uh oh, of course, it's brand new. <laughs> So, let's stick the band on here. That's funny to watch. Okay. So that was pretty exciting. A little bit of blood. Let's go ahead and just keep pressure there. Alright. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations, I will be exalted in the earth. I want to thank you.
whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man, according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Wow. That's right. House Resolution 3962, better known as Obamacare. Now, go to housedocs.house.gov slash rules slash health slash 11 underscore A H C A A. Dot PDF. You'll need Adobe to open this file up. Type in page 1501 of 1990 at the upper left hand corner of the page. This is going to bring you to Subtitle C, Food and Drug Administration, Part 1, Section 2571, National Medical Device Registry. Now, we're sending you to the website for a very specific reason. So all you liberals out there can't say that we are conspiracy theorists making all this stuff up. Every bit of information that I use is going to come from reliable sources. Two of the sources will be federal government sources. This one in particular, the House website that's, that gives you all the wording of the bill, and the other one will be from the FDA's website. Uh, we have an out, outside website also, but it's actually the manufacturer who makes these implants. So it's their own company website. Again, it's, we're not looking at a, a blogger's website or something like that. These are official websites of the federal government or the manufacturer of these implants that we're going to be sending you guys to. That's why we sent you here. Now, immediately under that particular section that I just told you to go to, it reads, The Secretary shall establish a national medical device registry to facilitate analysis of post-market safety and outcomes data on each covered device. Now, go down a few lines and you're going to see the first uh, device they're talking about is a Class 3 device. Class 3 devices are breast implants, pacemakers, things like that things that basically are already being implanted in a human being to facilitate some kind of function. Again, whether it's a breast implant or a, or a pacemaker. Class two devices are the ones that we're more concerned with. The next section says, may include as the secretary determines appropriate. Now, keep in mind, I don't remember what the numbers are on this. Somebody came out a while back and talked about how many times it refers to the secretary's discretion as to, as to what she, Kathleen Sebelius, can determine necessary. They leave this open-ended for her to determine this, which we know what that is. That's Barack Obama. Whatever he wants to do, she's going to do because she's, I mean, she's obviously his little puppet. Um, that's many, many times in here. So don't be mistaken when you see that. It's not something to be taken lightly. It's something open-ended that basically allows them to do whatever they want because it's at her discretion. It says, may include, as the secretary determines appropriate and specifies in regulation, a Class two device that is life-supporting or life-sustaining. Now, in order for you to take my word for the fact of what a Class II device is, guess where we went? We went to the federal government site, the FDA's website. Go to FDA.gov, FDA.gov. Click on the tab, Medical Devices, at the upper left-hand corner of your page. This is going to bring you to a page that basically describes all types of medical devices out there. Now, if you look, it says Guidance for Industry and FDA Staff Class II Special Controls. Below that guidance document, implantable radio frequency transponder system for patient identification and health information. Now, this document was issued on December 10th, 2004. It is still there. This is not an old document that's uh, it, it's been changed or reworded or anything. Like that. This is the policy that they're following right now, even though it was set up in 2004. This is a policy that's out there now. This is not an Obama administration deal right here. Obama administration, they're opportunistic and they take advantage of certain, certain situations. They didn't create this particular one. They're just following through on it. So keep in mind of the, the date we have in here. And I'm saying that for very particular reasons. Uh, Obama is going to take the bulk of the credit for Obamacare because he deserves it. He's taking these tools that are laid out there for us and he's basically driving us even further off into oblivion where nothing is going to be able to be controlled because they will manage everything. But this has been set up by other administrations also. He's just taking the baton and moving on with it. Scroll down the page. 
under number one, background. This guidance document was developed as a special control guidance to support the classification of the implantable radio frequency transponder system for patient ID and health information into class two special controls. The device is intended to enable access to secure patient identification and corresponding health information in humans. I mean, I can't make this kind of stuff up. It's here in print at FDA.gov. Go out there and check it out. It's right there. So now that we basically have, have confirmed what a class two device is, let's move on further with the Obamacare bill who, that's going to take full advantage of this particular device. I want to take you to a website. Go to RFIDCanada.com. Again, that's RFIDCanada.com. First page here. Pretty cool little website here, kind of interesting. If you look at the left-hand corner, upper left-hand corner, you see a low-frequency passive device. That is one of the devices that they're talking about. That is the one that's about the size of a grain of rice. You look over to the right-hand side, and you will see some of its uses. Animal identification, document tracking and libraries, item identification. Now, it's funny how all of these apply to humans. Animal identification, of course we're animals. Uh, that's just a good way to word it. That's one way to not panic anybody when they see this. Of course, it's, it's intended for humans to go, uh, to go into a human also. Yeah, it goes into horses and dogs and things like that to get them brought back home or to identify them. But make no mistake, this has been tested and it's, it's ready for humans. They use these, these animals to make sure that it was going to be okay to put into human beings. Just think of the things that can be put on here that you won't even know about. Do you think you're going to have a reader at home? Are you going to have a scanner at home? Are you going to know what's in your implant? Item identification, here we go. That's where that social security number is going to come from. We can identify everything about this person. And look, make no mistake, there's probably some helpful things, quote unquote, that they're going to be in here too. Blood type, all kinds of things like that, um, that, that would be helpful as well. This isn't intended to help anybody. There's just some helpful things that will probably pick up along the way. Now hopefully you left the link open because I'm going to take you back to the uh, House of Representatives site with that HR Bill 3962. I want you to go to page 1505. Type in 1505 at the top. Up in the upper left-hand corner, you're going to notice there's this little box up there. The, the amount of pages in this particular bill on this PDF version of it is 1990. Type in 1505 right to the box to the left of it. In this paragraph, the term data refers to information respecting a covered device, including claims data, insurance claims data, all of your claim history, and everything will be in here, patient survey data, and we'll move on down to electronic health records and any other data deemed appropriate by the secretary. Now, here we go with that open-ended deal again. Any other data that the secretary, parentheses, Barack Hussein Obama, deems necessary, they can put on here. This is a law. This is a bill that's allowing them to put whatever they want on a chip that's going to be implanted into human beings, okay? The secretary is going to determine what's allowable to go on here. Move on to page 1506 to permit analysis of linked data. Linked data, think about what we're talking about linked data. It's all these health records, but there's other things also. How about your bank account? How about your bank account? Why would they have the bank account in there, you're thinking? And they don't have the right to do that. They can't put my bank account information on here, can they? There's no way. This is for health reasons, right? We're going to skip to a different segment real quick because I want you to understand how this fits in here. We're going to go to a totally different section in the same document, but a totally different section. Go to page 77. Type page 77 into that box at the upper left-hand corner of your page. It reads, under D, enable the real-time or near-real-time determination of an individual's financial responsibility at the point of service and to the extent possible prior to service, including whether the individual is eligible for a specific service, blah, 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 blah. Do you get what they're saying right here? Determination of an individual's financial responsibility at the point of service. Now, it's to enable real time, not to see if the, this is to see if somebody can pay for this and to take the money out of their bank account. They're not just trying to see if you can pay for it. Enable the real time, enable the real time determination of an individual's financial responsibility at the point of service. They're going to check and see what you owe and they're going to enable the ability to take that money out of your account because they're going to have all this account. How else are they going to enable? How else are they going to check and see what your financial responsibility is and if you can, if you can provide it? How else are they going to know 
that you can fulfill that financial responsibility. How are they going to know that if they don't have uh, some kind of a link to your bank account, to your records? How else are they going to know? They're going to know because all that information is going to be on this particular chip. When they determine what you owe, they will pull. You'll be sitting in the waiting room or the recovery room, and they're going to be taking that money from your account. How else is Obama going to pay for all this? They know that the numbers that they fudged to try to make this thing sound like that it was going to be paid for, they know those numbers don't apply. This is their way of getting money as fast as they possibly can. No wait for this. They're going to get, immediately grab this money while they can. And they're going to make it a law. Nobody will be able to get out on what they, their responsibilities that they owe. This way, the people that have the money to pay for it, they're going to be required to pay for it. And not just required, they're going to be expected because they won't have any control over it. It's going to be pulled straight out of your account. Now, you want more good news? Go to page 735. Type in 735 in that page box and go to 735. Encourage, as appropriate, the development and use of clinical registries and the development of clinical effectiveness research data networks from electronic health records, post-marketing drug, and medical device surveillance efforts and other forms of electronic health data, blah, 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 blah. Medical device surveillance. Medical device surveillance. Well, what do you think of when you think of surveillance? What are they trying to survey? Better yet, who are they trying to survey? Medical device surveillance. They will be able to survey. In other words, this is a radio frequency transponder. It's sending a signal. You're going to be plugged into a, one of the largest surveillance projects out there in history when you have your little rice-sized implant put in your body. Friends, I want you to think about what we just showed you. Other than RFID Canada's website, which is the manufacturer of the product itself, or it's one of the manufacturers of an RFID chip. The other two websites that I took you to, all that information is still out there right now, right this moment. You go out there now, it's there. Remember, the first website is housedocs.house.gov slash rules slash health slash 11 underscore AHCAA dot PDF. That's where you're going to find all the wording and verbiage in the house bill. 3962. Then FDA.gov has the information to back up what a class 2 device is from this particular house bill. So I'm sending you to not bloggers, I'm sending you to websites where you can back this info up yourself. Now, I'm just assuming what they're going to use all this for because they're the ones tying all this together. They're the ones putting these pieces together for us. Are we that gullible where we're sitting back here going to look at all these pieces falling into place in front of our eyes and assume that can't be what that is?